Dutch and today we're going to do the install video of our Polaris General Kit. Um, this one is on a 2020 XP and it's going to be the same install across the board for all of the generals that we have. We have started here by tipping the box up and then we've taken the key out and put the machine in neutral and then from there we can go ahead and start removing the clutch cover. This here gets loosened up on this hose clamp and that'll pop off your front hose here and you can tuck that down out of the way. And then this clutch cover is held on. It's got about eight bolts around and I remove most of them just to speed things up for you. As you can see, this cover on this machine specifically comes off pretty easy. There's not a whole lot of stuff in the way. We've got our stock clutches on here. So the first thing we're gonna do is to pull out both bolts. You're not gonna reuse any of the stock hardware so this can all get set to the side. Okay, the secondary clutch is kinda gonna fall apart like that, which is okay. We can kinda set that loose there and leave it and then we're gonna pop the primary clutch off and we can pull them both off together. This is gonna take the Duraflex puller part number 25-127. And pull off the primary clutch. Secondary and this belt will not be reused either. So this can get set to the side. Then we are gonna go ahead and put on our Dura clutch primary, just making sure that this here is clean, that the inside taper on the clutch itself is clean. This comes with a new bolt and washer, shoulder washer for it. The only real special tool would be this socket here, and this is included in the kit. We're gonna tighten that up with the impact, and then we're gonna use the torque wrench and this torque spec is 60 foot pounds on the primary clutch. So I just use the puller actually to slide back through here to be able to hold your clutch from rotating. We hit our torque there, we're good to go. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the Dura clutch secondary on. And if you need to put it in gear to be able to get that on the spline, you might have to do that. Okay, and then this is gonna come with a new bolt and washer as well. And this bolt does get blue Loctite on there when you're installing. I've already got some on there, so we're okay. That's gonna get tightened up. Technical torque spec on this is 45 foot-pounds. Um, but sometimes it takes a second person to hold that to be able to get to it. So in order to torque the secondary, we have it tightened down. To hit the torque spec, actually a trick that works if you're trying to do it by yourself, is this belt tool that came with that we used to put the belt on the secondary. Actually can get hooked on the, sh on the bolt down here for the arm and it will hold right there. Remember this is only 45 foot pounds, so it doesn't take a lot and that will allow you to hit your torque spec. And then that just pulls back off of there. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the belt on and we're gonna do it so that you can read. It says SVI right on there. And this is the belt tool also that comes with the kit. So I spread that apart like that. And then a screwdriver actually works really well to be able to loosen it up the rest of the way. Slide that belt in. And we'll rotate that to seat it in the secondary. And that is it as far as the install of the two clutches goes. Then from there, we're gonna go ahead and put the clutch cover back on and then we can check everything and make sure we're good to go. So this will go back on. Just put a couple bolts in here to show you. And those don't need much because you're plastic into plastic, so just enough to snug them up. We'll pull this hose back. Stick that on. Clamp's tightened up and you're good to go. Um, from there, you can check alignment. Just make sure that it shifts okay. 
If it doesn't, um, there are optional washers to be able to shim that secondary in and out. If you run into problems or things like that, we always have um, our tech line open. And then you can also go to our website, which is DuraClutch.com. The last part of the DuraClutch kit um, is it's going to come with two decals, one that goes up on the dash and then one that you can see here that goes on the clutch cover. Um, this is important because it tells you your belt part number for yourself and also if you ever take it in for service or sell the machine or anything like that, they know that it's got a DuraClutch on it and they know the belt part number that the machine takes. So now that the installation of the DuraClutch kit is installed, the last step is going to be taking the filter that comes with the kit and this is an under the hood install up front. Pretty simple, we have pre-drilled this one, so this is just an inch and a half hole saw that we use to put a hole in the top here. Um, and then basically this filter is fit to size, so it just slides right on top. And that is it for the install on this. Um, we do have more details on that on another video on our website. Um, otherwise, besides doing the kit and putting this filter in, the DuraClutch install is done.